Howdy guys. Most of you remember light gun signals and this chart up here when you were studying for your private pilot's license and probably haven't paid much attention to them ever since. Let's go take one Bravo Charlie out and see what light guns look like from the tower at day, night, on the ground and in the air and have a little light gun refresher. Formation Tango 2352 Zulu, wind 060 at 11, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 11, 2.2, altimeter 3014. Howdy guys, we're going to taxi out here out of Aurora and we're going to do the light gun signal test. So we're going to see what the light guns look like on the ground, in the air, and both day and night. It'll be a nice little refresher for those of you that haven't seen that since studying for your private pilot, or for those of you that wonder what pilots and controllers do when you lose the radios. Aurora ground, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's coming out of Skyhaven with Tango. Request taxi for a VFR departure to the west. Our 771, Bravo Charlie, Aurora ground, runway 9, air taxi via Alpha, cross runway 36 at Alpha, hold short runway 33. Runway 9 via Alpha, cross 36 at Alpha, and uh, we'll hold short at 33, one Bravo Charlie. Ground for one Bravo Charlie. Do you have time uh, for a quick one? Go ahead. Yeah, um, I was trying to test some light gun signals to see what they look like from the plane. Can you shoot me like a flashing red and green light gun signal here while we're taxiing out? One Bravo Charlie, we'll come. Thank you. I guess one Bravo Charlie, just let me know when you see something so I can switch. Will do. Oh, wow, wow look how bright that, bright that is. Flashing red. Flashing green. Flashing white. Yeah, that's a lot brighter than I thought it would be for the daytime. Uh, when I take off, can I circle the delta three miles away and then you shine that at me again in the daytime and see how it looks from the air? One Bravo Charlie, we can try. Thank you much. Yeah, these are our new ones that we got and they're, they have like really nice LEDs in the front so they're super bright compared to the old one. I can I'll shine the old one at you. Yeah, I remember having some older ones uh, when I was in the tower. Yeah, the the new one is definitely much brighter than the old one. Pretty cool. That was yeah. I so man, I think you could see that from five miles I've away. I've been in the a pilot daytime. for thirty five years, and that's the first time I've seen the lights that ever. So yeah. That was cool. Yeah, but I, this is uh, really good to know um, what to do when you lose your comms, and what do you need to squawk, and what do those signals mean. When it actually happens, you got an emergency, it's not a good time to try to figure that out. Yeah. I used to have a little clipboard that told me what the light signals were, because you always forget. Go through what they mean real quick. And we'll throw the chart up here, maybe too. So on the ground. Yeah, so we got solid green. In the air means. Clear to land. Clear to land. On the ground. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, right. Uh -huh. Flashing green in the air. Return for landing? Return for landing is correct. Flashing green on the ground. Is cleared to taxi. Also correct, man. This guy's good. Huh. Red and green alternating in the air. That means exercise extreme caution for both, I think. That's right. Which we always do. Red in the air. Red in the air. That means uh, continue circling. Uh, give. That's right. Give way to other traffic and continue circling. Okay. And on the ground? Stop. Solid red. Solid red on the yeah, ground. Yeah, stop. stop. Uh, flashing red in the air. That means airport unsafe, do not land. And flashing red on the ground. Return to starting point. Taxi clear of the runway in ah, use. Taxi clear of the runway. I would call that a 98 percent <laughs> what you got right there. Crossing 3-3, three, three, clear both ways. Yeah, that's uh, nice, nice to dust off that out of the old memory bank. Tower 771, Bravo Charlie is holding short at 9, and uh, we're going to take one lap around the Delta to try to get light gun signals. Um, three to four miles away, left turn, if that's okay, and then we'll go out to the west VFR. 771, Bravo Charlie Tower, runway 9, the uh, remote is just departed as northwest bound, left turn out approved, clear for takeoff. Runway 9, clear for takeoff, one Bravo Charlie. 06012. All right, do you still see the Remos? Um, I do not have the Remos in sight. 
Oh, I do. There you go. We'll cross one. All right. Oh, I Lined got up him. on the runway. Power's going to come at 1700. Then we're going to get the mixtures going full rich. All right, engine instruments are green. Good. good to go. Release the brakes. Bring the power in. All right. Danger's in the green. Everything's Fuel flows look good. Airspeed's alive. 70, 80, 90. Rotate. Tap the brakes. You're coming up. Climbing out of blue line. Here are stowed. If you're going to come in, uh, Nordo, as Kevin says, there are no radios. You're not going to come in at a pattern altitude and circle. You want to come in at least 500 foot above pattern altitude and circle. You're not going to. So you stay out of everybody else's way. Yeah. So one Bravo Charlie, just advise when you'd like the light gun signals. And the traffic is about one five miles southwest of the airport, 2200 inbound from my niner. One Bravo Charlie, we'll go copy all. Oh, your EX500 shows a traffic? Yeah, it's tied into my. I love this plane. Active traffic. That's one Bravo Charlie. There's traffic at your 12 o'clock and uh, two miles westbound, 3,000 remote. One Bravo Charlie, search. We'll, we'll take the light gun signal now if you can. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, flashing green. Wow. Wow, that is bright. Flashing red. And flashing white. Man, that's a lot brighter in the daytime than we thought. Thank you very much, guys. We'll probably do that again at nighttime and see how far out we can see it when we come back. Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie, roger. You're welcome. Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is outside of Wolf for a full stop landing. And whenever you get a chance, could you uh, try to shine the light gun towards us? We're going to see if we can see it. Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, Wilco, and I'm uh, showing you just outside of Wolf. Oh, one Bravo Charlie, we see it alternating red and green. Thank you much. You're welcome. This is one Bravo Charlie, runway nine or clear to land. One Bravo Charlie, clear to land, runway nine. Did you see that? I never saw it. I hey, can you do the light gun one more time, please? I got it. Wow, that's hard at night. Yeah, because there's other lights down in. there. It blends in, right? And we're not, you know, we're. Perfect, we see it. It is actually a little harder at night because it kind of blends into everything else, but we got it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, there's like some white lights in front of the tower that I think are the lights on the uh, hangars. Yeah. So it made it a lot harder to see. I, that's that's interesting, though. It's an exercise I've never been through in 35 years. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting that it was a little bit, um, a little bit harder to see.